Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are staying warm today. Um, I am in Texas and it's a little chilly today. It is about 47 degrees and I'm trying to stay away from this coronavirus. Hope you all have good health and wellness during this winter time. Um, today's video is going to be on the Wet n Wild new Photo Focus um, Dewey Foundation. Um, my color is light medium in bus, buff bisque. Can't talk. Um, and I also picked up from um, some of the new products is the Hello Halo Blush Blush Lighter, so blush and highlighter in this color combo, and it is Flash Me, um, and it is a shimmer blush and a highlighter. So I swatched it right there. If you can see the highlighter, which I'll do a little bit more. It's kind of hard with highlighters. You just want to see how shimmery they are. But it's kind of like a rose gold, I think. So if you can see that combo, it is beautiful. And the blush lasts all day on my skin type. So my skin type is, um, again, I am almost going to be 50 years old this year. And I have a normal to dry cheeks. Um, I get dry patches here, redness here, but mostly my T-zone um, right here gets oily. And so this foundation worked well for me. It lasted all day. And it um, did some pretty good coverage. I would say high, medium, medium coverage. Uh, and so let's get to it. Hope you like this video. Thumbs up, like, share, and leave me some comments, please. So we're going to start off with my, um, I always spray my face down with my Wet n Wild um, Rose, Cucumber, or Coconut Oil, a coconut scented um, face spray. And you can use this as your um, prep, your base, and your fix. Your set, prep, set, and refresh throughout the day. So I spray this after my skincare. Um, I spray this first on my face. Hair out of the way. You like my shirt? Boss Lady from Avon. Um, spray this down just to prep my skin for makeup application. Let it dry. I didn't bring my little fan. Um, and my face is a little shiny because of my skin care. Um, so let me go with my skin care first since that is your base. So this is some of my skincare that I've used today. Just real quick. Um, I do this first for acne and helps minimize spots. I would do this second. And again, I will list all of these as I have before in the comment, uh, in the description. Um, my eye cream, somewhere in between there from Avon. And you, most of my products are from Avon. And somewhere in between there, after this, I would apply my retinol, which helps with your um, pores and wrinkles. And get that later. Oh, on my lips, which this is popular. I'm not sure. I don't dislike it. It does moisturize, but it doesn't. I mean, I put it on twice already this morning, and it's almost gone now. But it does moisturize your lips. Um, new product I'm trying. That's two weeks to help lift up this you know, loss of, um, I guess, lift up these cheeks, a little bit of sagginess I have. But this is the a new Infinity Lift, and it has a little roller ball on it. It's a metal roller ball, and you just roll it on your skin. The cream comes through there. You squeeze the tube. You close it so it doesn't squirt out. So I've been trying that. I'll let you know. It, it kind of feels like it's tightening your skin, so I think it's working. After my retinol... After that, oh, and then I apply this last pineapple glow recipe pineapple bright serum. It has vitamin C and um, alpha hydroxy in it. And I got this in a boxy charm, and I love it. I've had it since December. I, I try to use it um, sparingly because it does have the HAs in it, um, but I do use it in combination with other, not in combination, but I uh, interchange this. AHA with other ones. So I use it two or three times a week and then use other ones in between, not at the same time, to overdo my skin. Last but not least, um, sunblock. I always can't emphasize sunblock enough. This is what's making me a little shiny, but it's slightly tacky, but it wears very well under makeup. It does not peel up or do all that. And I've been using this past week on dry patches here again since winter. Um, this is a sample um, Avon Green Goddess. Um, uh, facial oil and it 
absorbs quickly, has a very minimal scent to it. I think it's like an herbal scent, which I don't even think it's an added scent, it's just a natural. But it is a CBD oil face, a CBD face oil, no THC in it, not gonna make you high. But it does moisturize really well the few times that I've used it. Um, jewelry on my ears. This is a new set from Avon. And jewelry on my neck. Um, Burstone Valentine's Heart. All will be listed below. Um, old ring, so don't pay attention to the ring, sorry. So we started off with our facial spray. Now back to the makeup part. Um, I've been using this for a while from my BoxyCharm. Um, I think it works well. It kind of, you know, helps mesh those pores together. Makeup, I just do a little tiny drop, mostly on my nose, rub it in, kind of get into those pores. Because again, this is my problem area, my pores. The makeup always tries to separate there. And my all-time favorite as of so far is from Avon, the Ink Lasting Primer, Avon and the Face Shop Combo. I hope they never take this away because I love it. It is a silicone primer. I've shown this before in my videos. Um, I just use a little dot on my nose, rub it in. It does feel silicone and slippery, but it does fill in those pores very well. It is the best pore filling primer that I've used so far, and I've probably used 15 of them so far in my life. And I, a little bit more, go on my cheeks, and any like acne marks or rough patches, it does fill them in well. I do have the texture, like I said, right here from dry patches. As you notice, even just a little bit of rubbing causes redness. Doesn't hurt, but it does. If I rub it too much, it will hurt. A little bit more, just to fill those dry patches, and that's it. I I add it in little small patches. I don't put a whole bunch and then try to spit it out. You can feel the smoothing effect it has on your skin. I think I put my forehead. There we go. Now, down to the bottom part, the foundation. Yes, I do apply my foundation first. Some people like to do their eyeshadow first, just for fallout, in case you get glitter or anything all over your face. Um, I can fix it fairly well, so I have a problem with that. Um, it does does not have that chemically smell that the original Photo Focus has. It does have that weird paddle that nobody likes, and I don't. I mean, it is what it is. You can't change it, so... Um, put that down for a minute. Get my makeup brush. I bought this on Amazon only because it has a paw print on it. This one's a little dirty. It works well. It's fairly stiff and it's flat enough to apply my foundation. I always spray my foundation brush with some type of fix spray. This is just a BH Cosmetics one that I had laying around. For whatever reason, I use this just to spray my brush. So I dampen my brush to help that foundation stay better. And either apply it straight to your face or you know, from your hand. They say this isn't as sanitary, but I'm not a makeup artist, so I don't use this foundation on anybody else's face but mine. I kind of spread it out with my finger because your brush does absorb a little. And then I pat it on. Might be a little too much. But as you see, it just evens out your complexion. I'm not trying to go for the cake face and pack it on. You'll still see my my spots. You'll still see some acne marks, but I am just going for the even complexion. And as you can see, it is dewy, like I said, but it does give you a fairly, it's not like overly dewy, that's why I like it. Always blend into your hairline so you don't have that mask effect. But there you have it. And my nose is always, like I said, my problem area. So I always, I don't have any foundation I've ever tried. Just go on my nose evenly, no patchiness. Even high-end foundations. And I do believe, some people don't believe in, in um, primer, but I do believe it helps. You make it go on smoother, last longer. And, you know, if you're going for a dewy effect, you, you can do a dewy primer. 
Um, I'm going for the, not necessarily mattifying, but the like pores effect. So they don't have, there we go. Just doing a final blend down your neck. And if you want more coverage, you know, add more to your cheeks, which I do tend to do, but, um, sorry, text message. Um, tend to add sometimes more to my cheeks, but I think I'm pretty happy. Just going to go for an early Valentine's dinner lunch with my BF. And I think that'll do it. And now I'm going to add my concealer. Um, pretty much everything is drugstore slash Avon. Mm, I think I have some Laura Mercier powder, a little sample one I bought. Um, Okay, so concealer, the Revolution Conceal and Define, not the dewy one, in C6 and C7. They were buy one, get one free or half off, so I got these two colors. Um, I mix them together. One's a little tannish, and one's a little more pale, almost yellowy, so I mix them together. And I mix them on my hand. Sorry, sneeze coming. Excuse me. Mix them on my hand, middle finger, the least pressure. And I use these kind of as my base layer for my eyeshadow uh, primer. And I still add an eyeshadow primer. I blend it across there. It helps my eyeshadow stick better. As you can see, I have darker eyelids. So it just helps even out the color of my lids for eyeshadow application. But I pat it down. I don't put a lot. The one little dab usually is enough. I'll tend to add a little bit more at the end here, but as you age, if you don't know already, and I'm not a makeup expert or a makeup artist, um, the less is the better. You don't want to accentuate your wrinkles. And I'm getting wrinkles around my eyes, not as much as I feel, my opinion, of course. Um, as many wrinkles as some people my age. But gentle, not rubbing but patting in to blend it out you don't want you want to be <clears throat> excuse me very delicate with that skin around your eyes and i'm not trying to like try to eradicate my under eye bags as i've said before i'm trying to just even out my skin tone brighten it up because a little bit of darkness and that's it i have like a textured area right here and right here so i try to push it in as best i can to help my eyeshadow blend but and there you have it. I'm not trying to the bright and white light. I just want it to be slightly brighter than my skin color. And that is it. But let me know what you think about this foundation or if you've tried it. Um, I'm going to set all this. And then that might be the end of my video. Brighten up under eye banana powder from Essence. Very cheap. This is what does a lot of that brightening. Watch this. Oh, this one's getting to the end. It's getting kind of crumbly. And again, too much powder will, within an hour, will kind of accentuate wrinkles that I have there, but make them look way worse. But this, to me, mattifies it and brightens it. Because I'm not trying to draw attention to my under eye color or bags. I'm trying to just brighten it so it it's not necessarily the focal point of my eyes. I want my eyeshadow or my eyelashes to be the focal point, not my under eye bags or wrinkles. There we go. And you can't really see the powder, and that is the whole point. There we go. And for my face powder, like I said, this is probably the only thing that's not this little sample that I got back in March. Oh, March, it doesn't. Coming on the corner. I've had it that long. Jeez. Probably a halfway done. And I don't especially like this powder since it is a wet and wild uh, video. My little Pac-Man wet and wild brush. Um, I don't especially dislike this, but I don't like like it. If that makes sense. Let's put this in my lid. Before I make a mess since I don't have my table in front of me. And then this is just going to set that foundation and 
not necessarily mattify it because you will see the doing this shine through in about an hour but it doesn't i'm not shiny i'm just um dewy my skin looks natural because i don't necessarily like that matte flat look to my face this just sets it for my blush that's coming and my um bronzer could be the word but you can still see a little bit of shine on my nose but it's not a oily shine it's a natural skin shine i feel but and there you have it like i said i've worn this throughout the day work sweat 10 12 hour days and it holds up pretty well And then blush, and I think we're done with this part, and I'll do everything else off camera because I don't want to make this video like a half an hour. So blush, my BH Cosmetics Set Angled Blush Brush. And it's not that powdery, you know, cheek smile. And there you have it, see? I was going to add brown, but maybe just to my forehead. Hey, hair. It's all wild today. When is it not wild, huh? It looks dark in the pan, but, you know, it has a little bit of shimmer to it, so you can almost go without the highlighter, but I love highlighter. No molder. People say don't, and it on this side almost accentuates my spot, my, but see how that lifts your cheeks and lifts your whole face? I'll just add some highlighter just to show you. So again, it's kind of a rose gold highlighter. This one is a lot softer, so be careful because I got way too much on my brush. Just barely tapped it because it's a lot softer. can't doesn't do it justice just one more tap almost too much you see it's kind of flying around this one I don't know for whatever reason it's more dusty than the blush so be careful light hand and there we go hopefully you can see it. There we go. Hope you guys like this video. Again, I'm gonna do everything else off camera. Um, other than that, this would be my review. Big thumbs up to that new foundation. Let me know what you guys think. If you got this foundation, if you've tried it. Hope you're all having a great day. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, please. I appreciate your support, comments, anything. Share. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time.